Before you find your memories drained, here's your look at the new Star Ace Harry Potter Dementor 1 8 scale collectible figure. The Dementor is part of the Real Masters series of 1 8 scale collectible action figures. Product code for this release is SA8006. The first thing we're going to do is figure out how tall the Dementor is. Now, keeping in mind, I have to add to the fact that I've also already got him attached to his display stand. So really, the display stand has to be included because the Dementor won't be able to stand on his own. I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. So factoring in the display stand, the Dementor stands at a very impressive 10.6 inches in height, which translated to centimeters, you're looking at 26 0.9 centimeters tall. Yes, as I said, it's already attached to the display stand. Essentially, the display stand, um, let me unscrew this for you for a second. The display stand comes separate when you get this out of the box. And it's just simply a case of taking the screw and screwing it into the threads of the hole provided in this display base. This display base we've seen before in other 1.8 scale outings from Star Ace. Here is instead some really nice kind of frosted area top surface, kind of a stone face done in a very nice aqua, kind of an aqua blue. You've got Harry Potter there on the front. Again, the screw hole is on the top there. And unfortunately, there isn't really anything on the front. I mean, they could have put a, like a little placard or something indicated, indicating that this is the Dementor, but uh, instead you just get a standard, just a black front face to it, which is perfectly fine. I would have loved a little placard, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and screw this back into place because really the Dementor is unable to stand. I mean, really, you can see how everything is going to come together, or maybe you don't know how everything's going to come together. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of screw that in place, and then we'll have a look at the figure. Now, having a look at the figure, the figure is stunningly creepy. Uh, I think one of the reasons why I like the Dementor so much is it does remind me of like the Ring Wraiths from uh, Lord of the Rings. A very similar sort of designed character, very lanky by proportions and cloaked, shrouded in a dark black cloak. Now, the Ring Wraiths, you wouldn't really see too much of their faces. The Dementors, on the other hand, you would really very much see the mummified skeletal facial structures of its face, which we can have a look at right now. Now, you can use the cloak to a little bit of your aid by bringing that forward so you're not going to see it as much. It's according, it's really up to you how much of the Ring Wraith's head you really do want to see. But I think for this review, I'll just bring it back so that you can see the fantastic sculpting 
that Starace has incorporated in not only just the head sculpt, but really all the body, which I'll, I will show you. The body is minimal because really all of it is just the wire framing pretty much from like this point further down. But we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We want to look at the head sculpt first, which is just, again, fantastically scary. A mummified corpse remains what would have been a former uh, entity. Now, of course, mummified. You can see just a, a fantastic level of not only detailing, but a nice dry brushing of various paints. The undercoat, or the lower sculpted areas of the head, are almost closer to almost a gray or beige color. And then on top of that, they've dry brushed this very stunningly, again, scary looking gray that they've put over top of it. It's got a just an awesome looking head sculpt. Gone are eyes, of course, now replaced with dark crevices, socketed areas of where eyes formerly could have been. And then of course, you've got the big gaping mouth in which again, the kiss of the uh, the Dementor is going to be coming out, which I'll show you guys in a second. Again, a really fantastic head sculpt. Minimal, I guess, in the level of paint. There's really not a whole lot of paint to be writing home about, but what paint there is. It's done a fantastic job here on this excellent head sculpt. Let's talk a little bit about how it's made up. So primarily, as you can see, it's just shrouded over by cl a cloak, a dark black cloak, but there's still some variation in color. Some greens and some blues have been added to it just to give some nice highlights to an otherwise very dark palette. Now if we go ahead and we just lift this up as best as I can lift this possibly up, I just want to show you that underneath all of this, there is, right there, there we go, there is a, a torso or about just as much of a torso as you're going to get pretty much from the rib cage down is nothing but just this adjustable post. Which is perfectly, again, fine, because the way it is in the, in the film, I mean, the Dementor is just a levitating creature. It doesn't necessarily require, nor does it, is it justified to, that it necessarily needs to have legs or anything like that. I mean, really, for a fact it stops right there doesn't really bother me all that much, because so much of it then is covered over by the shrouded of the cloak. Now the cloak also has a wire frame to it. If we lift this up, you probably already saw a little bit of it. There's a wire frame that runs right here, a wire running right down the side here. And there's also a wire that runs right here. In fact, actually, there are three, count no, actually four wires. There's one right here. There is one right here that makes up like the top of the hood, the cloak. And uh, it's just a bit of adjusting that's required to kind of get everything back in place once you've, you probably didn't necessarily need to move as much as you did, but I just want to show you guys what it looked like underneath there. So like I said, there's a wireframe here, right here that can allow you to adjust this and bend this to your heart's content. Uh, like I said, the other one is located right there. I mean, basically, let me just show you kind of how everything comes together. I can take this off, this off in its entirety. So what you're kind of looking at is just the bare bones. You still got, I said bare bones. You've got the skeletal arms. So I'm going to bring those up so you guys can see. I'm sort of dismantling everything here on camera, but just enough to show you how everything comes together. There is the very spindly, skinny arms of the Dementor, very still large skeletal hands. It still matches the coloring of the head. The head sculpt actually, and you know, even like looking at the arms kind of reminds me of dried out wood very similar color scheme as well. And the arms run all the way up. They are connected to the torso point, the rib cage that we had looked at already. And then again, you've got just, you've just got the, the uh, adjustable neck, just runs right all the way up to the top and attaches to the top of the, the rib cage there. Um, I had mentioned there was four wire frames. There's one right there and there's one right there. And actually, no, there are three. There's one at the back, there's two on the front, and then there's the additional two of the cloak portion, the part of the hood that we've already taken off. This does lend a little bit to adjustability. Like you can bring and bend these depending on which way you want to have them posed. Also, because this is on a adjustable post, you can also bring this forward. You can adjust it this way as well. You can have it almost as if it's, again, flying this way. And then you can compensate it by just adjusting these wires back. For its, for its 
construction, there's really a lot that you can do with it. it. Kind of adds to the appeal for the fact that you can kind of get it in the design that you want. You almost can have it flying rightly, like right directly towards you. And then you can take the top portion of the cloak and just again fit it over top of its shoulders, just like that. Again, until you get the desired look that you want. The arms, and we'll talk a little bit about the posability. I'll just take this off for the time being. It doesn't have a lot of posability, but it has posability where it needs it. So it has like a ball joint on the head. Let me just take the head off here so you can see. It's a clear post. Now I am a little worried that it is using a clear plastic. You're not probably gonna be moving the head too often, especially for the fact that it's gonna be underneath the hood. But I just wanna show you how everything kinda of comes together. So the head rotates all the way around. It hinges up, it hinges down, and it hinges left and right. The arms, are looking to be, let me just bring them up again so I can show you. If I bring the arms around, it looks like they're just on standard swivels. So you can bring the arms back or back, bring them forward. You have to be careful to get them around the wire here. You can bring them forward. There is no adjustability here. Now it does advertise, it seems as if there's a wire frame. And even if there is in there, it's tricky to bend it to the point where I am very worried. I don't want to do too much bending to it, but it seems as if, and even like the instructions indicate that the arms are bendable for various poses. I don't see a lot of holes in here in which the frame can breathe. So again, when you are bending it, I would just be a little careful when you are bending it. I mean, it does seem to retain and keep the pose in place depending on the way you are bending it. But again, I still think you should be a little bit careful. Don't um, don't bend it too violently and too quick because certainly again the last thing you would want to do is having those arms break on you. Replacing the top portion of the cloak back to where it belongs, let's have a look at the two accessories that come included. Now these are the Dementors Kiss, well, two kisses I suppose. Um, these both attach the exact same way. You can see on the end that the pegs are identical to one another and just before we attach it into the mouth socket mouth portion of the head. Just want to show you that there are a difference between the two. One is sort of just a projection outward of the Dementor's Kiss, whereas actually one also, this one here, looks almost as if more it's like hands, which I think is even creepier. The bases are different as well. It's not as if they just simply swapped and sculpted brand new top pieces to it. They are different from one another. This one spirals a little bit more than this one right here. And both are done in a almost translucent, slightly light blue translucent plastic. To attach it to the Dementor, you're simply just going to take this part of it and you're going to fit it inside the mouth. Not much pressure really is required to get that into the mouth socket. And as you can see, there's the Dementor's Kiss projected out from its mouth. A nice little added bonus, something else to just jazz up when you have this guy on display. I mean, certainly his presence on his own is very imposing, but it's neat to include this as an option for when you are displaying the Dementor. Counting the display base and the two versions of the Dementor's Kiss, those are the only accessories that come included with this 1 8 scale release. I guess it's sort of minimal, the amount of accessories that come included with this figure, but then really when I think to myself, what could really possibly come with a Dementor anyways? I guess they could have come variations of different hand options, but that would also involve trying to find the means to unpeg that and detach it from the forearms. Ultimately, when it's all said and done, I think the Dementor has the sufficient amount of accessories that one would necessarily need when it comes to displaying this figure. The Star Ace Dementor 1 8 scale collectible figure. Such a cool, imposing figure. There's not really a whole lot to it. I mean, really, when you strip it down, sort of what I tried to do in this review, you really only see that they sculpted the head, the neck, the rib cage, and a set of arms. The rest of it relies on a adjustable wire frame, which is perfectly fine for the type of character that this is. It's not a fully realized body. It's not a character that walks around. It levitates, so it justifies, I think, why the figure is sort of stripped down to the basics when it comes to its, chem to its construction. Um, it doesn't have much in the way of accessories. I think when it's all said and done and when it comes to displaying this character, I'll likely display it more so without the kiss because I just think it's imposing just to have a a floating entity there on my display shelf. For what little is required to putting this guy together, Starace has done a pretty good job and I hope that this review has conveyed that. 
simply just because a figure doesn't have as much components to it does not make it less of a figure by any stretch of the imagination. By incorporating wire frames that Starry has done to their cloaks on the Dementor here gives you some w w range, some adjustability to the way you want to display the cloak. And simply, it's not just a cloak that they put over top of a torsoed body. I mean, they've even gone in and painted some nice highlights or low lights, I suppose, by the added greens and the blues. Yes, indeed, this is a fine, fine looking figure. And I might be a slight biased person by saying that I like this figure so much, heavily weighted by the fact that I love ring wraiths so much from Lord of the Rings. Dementor seems sort of let that next evolutionary step, at least from a design of a character. Uh, Lord of the Rings certainly was an older uh, film and certainly an older story, but you can kind of see how Dementor took some, not luxuries, but certainly took some ideas from maybe what was established initially in Lord of the Rings. Either way, it's a really creepy, really imposing looking figure, and it looks fantastic on a shelf. Today we were having a look at the new Star Ace Harry Potter Dementor 1 8 scale collectible figure. Uh, if you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Star Ace reviews that I've done on this channel, there's a playlist of Star Ace and Star Ace alone. You can go in there and have a look at all the Harry Potter stuff that I've done, as well as the wide range of other cool collectibles that Star Ace, Star Ace has also released. And if you also are new to this channel and haven't yet had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so because certainly more videos will be coming soon to this channel. So stay tuned for those. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.